She runs a website called FlirtNow.com. She is a flirtologist. It's Jill Spiegel. Jill, good morning. Welcome to the Bad House. How are you? Hey, Jill, how are you this morning? Doing great, Jack. This is so exciting. Jack and Jill together at last. <laughs> I just realized that. Goodness gracious. We are a pair. We are a pair of something. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll have to figure out a pair of what by the end of the interview. But I'm going to say, Jack, I'm going to say, we're a pair of flirts because I can tell you've got the flirting spirit just in the first few seconds of communicating you. With can you can pick up that on me right, right just from the get-go, huh? I can because being flirtatious is being passionate about life and listen to you. you. We can tell you love every single second of being alive and broadcasting to everyone that loves you. Oh, God knows you. You, you read me like an open book. <laughs> <laughs> That's a book I don't want to close. Oh, I like that kind of talk, Jill. <laughs> Why don't you tell me how you came about to being a flirtologist? Is this a college degree that you could get? There is, there is no flirting university. No, um, ah. I have always been a flirt. I've lived it. I've always loved people. I love to reach out to people and make them feel special. I'm, I flirt with life, my intuition, my imagination. I just think everything's got so many magical and miracles woven in it that flirting made me so happy and then I started getting all these opportunities by being flirtatious that I knew I had to start my own business to teach flirting to the world because Jack there's levels of flirting so it's not just about winking and slinking and being romantic it's about being playful with people connecting with people right. in a genuine way right now you said opportunities you're not talking about opportunities like that kind of I'm talking about hey you know you should head up this committee you're so good with people or hey you'd be great at my and my sales team because you make people feel so good or hey let's be friends or, boy, talking to you five minutes today just gave me so much energy. I feel brand new. It's all those things. You can flirt for success, for energy, for friendship. So that, what kind of flirting you just did, you just want to save that for your mate, baby. Right. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Jill, I went to your website. You're a lovely-looking lady. And i tell you what I like. I like the flirt mobile. Oh, you do love the Flirtmobile. Oh, my gosh. If you go to Flirtnow.com, you see it. It's a beetle with flowers all over it. Wherever we drive, people wave to us and laugh and leave us notes on the car, which just proves to you that people are so hungry to connect with each other and, and have a light sense of spirit. So I'm, I'm all for getting you in that Flirtmobile. <laughs> like that. Now, if I drove that around by myself, people might think I was kind of light in the loafers, but if I was in the passenger seat with you, they'd probably think I was an okay guy. I think so, and can I steal light in the loafers? Can I steal that expression? That's you the first certainly, time I've heard it. You certainly may. I love it. That's a Jack, that's a banana Jack exclusive right there, but I'm more than happy to share that with you. How's that for some flirting? <laughs> as, as that's some flirting, and I'll give you the credit. How's that right back? I like that kind of talk. Jill, <laughs> our phone lines are burning up this morning. We got a lot of a lot of flirverts out there. <laughs> Did I say that? A lot of flirtverts on the line who would love to talk to you right now. Would I, you mind taking some questions? Oh, it would be my pleasure. Fantastic. What year is that beetle, by the way? Just out of curiosity. That beetle, um, that one we got, I think it was like, um, like 2000. And how many miles does that have on there? There's oh, no, no. I, I, I never pay attention to miles. It's the quality of the driving. I don't even know. Ah! You know what's great? They, they even changed it at all from once they first made it. So, you know what? It's it's consistent. And they are fantastic cars. And, they, and especially with gas prices, I heard they're going to go up to $4 a gallon. I'm sure that they get some pretty good gas mileage in there. Absolutely, huh? yep. Fantastic. All right, well, let's grab some calls this morning. Let's uh, go to Rick on Line 1. Rick, you're on with Jill Spiegel, the flirtologist. Welcome to the Madhouse. Wabadoo, Banana Jack. How are you, my friend? What is your question for Jill Spiegel from FlirtNow.com? Well, my question is, I have a 93 Mercedes, and I only use premium fuel in it. Now, my question is, if I use mid-grade or just regular fuel, Am I gonna? Is that gonna affect engine performance? Ooh, that's a good question. How was that? Uh, I've heard that because uh, that's a certain octane level that you got to put that gas in. Now, how will that cause some knocking and pinging? Well, I'm going to encourage since my expert is flirting, my expertise is in flirting and not in gas mileage. What I will do is recommend you drive on over to a gas station and you do a little flirting with the gas attendant and ask them your question, and they'll be thrilled to help you out. Oh, what kind of mechanic are you? I Fuck. Will 
I'm, All right, I'm not come a mechanic. On. I'm a flirtologist. <laughs> Go to flirtnow.com and you'll get it. You'll get it all together. Yeah, he had no idea what was going on. <laughs> that was fun. Well, it, we were talking cars. That's probably. Uh, you know what? He gets he gets an A plus for being in the spirit, but a C for being on the wrong topic. Wow. Well, <laughs> At least you didn't fail him. Let's go to Mike on line three. Mike, good morning. You're on the madhouse. Wappadang, Jack. Wappadang to you, my friend. What is your question for Jill Spiegel? She is a flirtologist. All right. I have a 1998 Jeep Cherokee. I recently oh, had a goodness. mechanic replace the fuel pump. Now, uh, when I try to start the engine, it doesn't start on the first try. What can I do? Well, let me ask you this. What do you think I'm an expert in? I thought you were a specialist. In what? Did you think she knew something about cars? I thought she did. Do you think, what about the times we've been talking about flirting and flirtnow.com? Where do you think that, that, that fit in this? Let's get one more before we get out of here. Hopefully, we'll have somebody ask a question I, I about flirting. I feel a carburetor question coming on, but let's try it. I hope not. Let's go to the dad on line four. Jill, how you doing, sugar? I got a question for you. Good. Um, my Chevy Malibu's lights just stopped working, although oh, the fuses goodness. and bulbs are working in order. Can you help me out? I can't help you out because I'm not a specialist in car maintenance, only in flirting, sweetie. But I know you'll find what you need because you're so charming. You're the worst mechanic ever. Oh, I stop. sure am. <laughs> what I you? own that. I know nothing about mechanics. He is right. You are not a mechanic. You are a flirt. Maybe somebody's playing a practical joke on yours truly. But I tell you, I had a good time talking to you. The website is called flirtnow.com. And if people want to go check it out, they just need to put in the www and have an internet, don't they? Yeah, that's all they have to do and they can get my books and CDs and Jack I want you to know I have done over 500 interviews and this is one of the most interesting ones I've ever oh, had how about that that is fantastic Jill we love talking to you maybe we'll have you back on the madhouse next time I'm love in town Jack. Wabba -ding. anytime Wabba -ding to you. bye bye, bye peace honey. out alright bye bye